And here is the young man from Spartanburg. Zion Williamson, pretty much a guarantee to be the number one pick in tonight's draft if Griff wants to keep his job and not head back to NBA TV. <laughs> Shannon, when you look at this young man's future, do you see him becoming a superstar, a star, or just a starter? Yeah, you've been saying Zion with a little bit more pep in your step, a little <laughs> more perk. You see you, how you talk about that? Skip it's draft day. Yeah. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Skip, I know you're going to be upset, but I'm sorry. I see him as a star. Like in the middle. Somewhere. Yes. Um, I think he'll be a good player. But, Skip, he's getting magic. Since I followed the NBA and I go back to magic, magic rookie year, coming forward, that's been 40 years, Skip. Only two people have garnered this kind of attention that I can recall. Magic Johnson, LeBron James, and now Zion Williamson. Skip, I do not see him as those guys. Do I think he can be good? Yes. But I don't see that. I'm sorry. Um, the outside shot is a set shot. It works if he's wide open. I mean, everybody keeps telling me that uh, Ben Simmons is going to develop a shot. I haven't seen it yet. Michael Carter Williams was supposed to develop one of those. Michael Kidd Grilkers. Now, I'm not saying they're as talented as Zion, but developing a shot is not as easily, oh, just he could just develop that. Mm -hmm. you know, if that was the case, he'd have done developed it. He'd be shooting pull-ups. Mm -hmm. But that's not what he is. So just keep him out the paint. I just don't see superstar skip. Do I believe he can be an all-star? Yeah, he can be an all-star. But that's, that's saying much in his rookie. I don't know if he'll be an all-star this rookie year. I went back and checked it out since 2000. There have only been two guys to make the uh, uh, all-star team as rookies. Blake Griffin. Ron was not one of them. Thank you. Yep. Skip, Blake Griffin, but that's an asterisk. Because he was drafted in 09. He didn't play. And he made it in 2010 in Yao Ming. Okay. In one country, they have a quarter of the population of the world. Let's just say they may have stuffed the ballot box. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that's what happened, yep. but there's a possibility. Mm -hmm. So for me, Skip, yes, he's going to have some highlight reel dunks. Mm -hmm. He'll probably block a shot like LeBron did in Game 7 of the NBA Finals. Mm -hmm. He will do things that will grab your attention. Mm -hmm. But to be, and see, Skip, what I'm thinking with the height that this kid has, yep. he's got to be Magic Johnson. He has to be LeBron James. Because that's the kind of attention, that's the kind of hype is surrounding him. Yet, you can't compare him to Magic as a basketball player, and you certainly can't compare him to LeBron as a basketball player, his skill set. Mm -hmm. Which is why I can't compare him to anybody. I have been covering this game, as you know, since the <laughs> mid-1970s when I covered the Lakers pre-Magic Johnson. Mm -hmm. I've never seen anything like this kid. I see superstar unconventional but superstar because he's not going to check all your boxes he's going to check new boxes L let's start with maybe his greatest attribute is how he plays defense he's going to be a dominating defensive player in this league he's going to make a career long list of first team all defenses he's going to win several defensive player of the year awards he's draymond green with about 40 or 50 more pounds and more explosion. <laughs> and he plays so hard every possession on defense that the league's never seen anything like that. Because for most NBA players, defense is a little bit of an afterthought. It's not that cool to play defense. He's 80, he's basically, in other words, you're saying he's an 80 pounds heavier Russell Westbrook. He is. <laughs> or or Draymond. Like, like Draymond's a defensive player, former yes. defensive player of the year. And they love Draymond in Golden State because he can switch all five. Right. If, if you want him to guard the center, he can try to guard the center. Right. He can't do it very well. Right. This kid can guard the center. This kid can guard the point guard. If he gets switched onto it, the point guard's going to have a hard time scoring on this guy because he is so side-to-side -side quick and he is so explosive as a leaper. He can bother shots. He can swoop. He can blindside block. He's going to dominate on defense because he plays with contagious energy unlike any I've ever seen. He plays with a consistent joy and passion. I've, I've never seen a kid play with every possession. Sometimes it's not cool to play with that much joy and passion, mm -hmm. to look like you're having that much fun. 
just not cool. It doesn't play well on social media. Hey, calm down. You know, okay. like, like you, you can't play like that. But he does. And he will bring that to pro basketball, and it will be difference-making for his basketball team. Go ahead. If you don't mind me asking. Okay, he's 285 pounds at mm -hmm. 19. What's his going, weight going to be at I don't 25? Know. I don't know. And if, you, if he gets injured and stays injured, you got me. If he can't find a, a new way to stay fit, you got me. For long-term health, you got me. But he needs to stay at 285. He can handle 285. He can't handle 325, right? And so if you get on the NBA diet, the travel diet, and, and you start to- Oh, he goes straight to 325. Plank, okay, then, then you, if you're going 325, you can't carry it because you're going to get hurt. Mm -hmm. Something's, your knees are going to go. Something's going to go, yeah. right? Okay, yes. so you got me. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bet that he won't be that guy, okay. that he'll stay at 285. And again, he's going to play a whole lot more games, so maybe the games will keep him in more shape than the college games right. kept him in. Then let's talk about clutch factor. Every time Duke needed a big basket, when RJ wasn't getting to take the shot, I'm gonna to get to RJ in just a moment because I believe that RJ Hindered. handicapped Zion. I, I think we didn't get to see full on Zion because RJ was all, always in his way. Okay. And Coach K deferred to RJ over Zion and I never could figure out. You know, I'm not second guessing, I first guessed this the day after they lost to Michigan State. Every time I saw a clutch shot needed, and this goes back to the Gonzaga game or the, the Carolina game that we had a bet on, which was the ACC tournament game, or the Michigan State loss in the NCAAs. Every big shot that needed to be made, he made it. He's got clutch gene in him. Just give him the ball and get out of his way and he'll make something happen. He also is unselfish to a fault because he loves RJ. They're best buddies, right? So he would defer like crazy to RJ, as would Coach K. And I still don't get it, but that's just... Every big shot okay. was a tip in okay, or a dunk. Been, Okay, you gotta create. You gotta figure out how to score the basket at the time. He also made some key threes. And by the way, he made 34% of his threes. That's pretty good. I saw great mechanics. I saw fluid motion. Mm -hmm. I saw the ability with the right coach. I don't know who, their sh who your shot doctor is there, but I don't know if Alvin can teach shooting. Maybe he can. But the point is, He's only going to get better and better. At, maybe it's a feet on the floor shooter, but that'll work in this league. If no, you can it won't. Make that three, yes, it nah, will. Nah. If you can jump out there and make that three and a big's guarding you, that'll work. Because you can explode. But here's on. the thing: Skip, how, what did he measure at? Six 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 seven. Seven. Six seven. Six seven. Six, seven Two eighty five. Okay. He, so he's going to be under. He's an undersized four. Okay. So. When I try to compare him to somebody, I can't think of anybody. And then I saw a good piece on ESPN.com in which they said, well, we can't compare him to anybody except these five guys. It took five comparisons. <laughs> right. And they started with the Draymond defensive right. comparison, except this guy weighs 50 more pounds than Draymond. Right. And he's just, he just has, he plays with more defensive right. force. Right. And then we go to Ben Simmons in the open floor as a, as a passer and a creator. Well, this kid isn't quite the passer Ben Simmons is. Right. But he can really distribute, man. He threw some, he dropped dimes, yeah. man. And in the open floor, he is more explosive than Ben's oh, ever yeah, thought about Ben. Yeah. Just if he gets it going downhill at you, yeah, yeah. oh, get oh, out yeah. of the way. Yeah. You're not taking that charge. Okay. Then we got Blake Griffin. Comparison is just jump. playmaking Athletic. athleticism, mm -hmm. okay? I, I get that. But this kid is much better right here, right now, as a shot maker, even inside and outside, than Blake was. And I watched him for, for all his two years at Oklahoma. Right. So he's ahead of schedule right. on Blake Griffin, but I, I get the comparison. Then we go to Charles Barkley. As a relentless offensive rebounder, <laughs> Charles was at the top. Yes. Why did Charles relentlessly go after the basketball? Because he loved to score the basketball. He found it, it's easier to score it if you go get a missed shot and then they're all out of position and you put it back, right? right. Yes. Okay. Did Charles ever think about playing defense? Not no. really. Okay. But I'll give you that comparison there. And then we finally get down to Julius Randle as a low post left-handed score, mm -hmm. where you just lob it into him and he just creates and over the yeah. shoulder, gets you on his shoulder. Okay, I see that. But again, he, he weighs 35 more pounds than Julius Randle does. And Julius is a moose, man. Yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a big man. Well, we watched Skip. We watched okay. him against the Lakers. Yeah. And they had no one that okay. could do anything with Julius okay. Randle on the I block. I got it. I got it. I'm with you, but there's... These are all the comparisons. You have to add up all those five right. comparisons to get to this kid. And then I'm going to say it one more time. R.J. Barrett was obviously going into last basketball season the number one ranked mm -hmm. recruit and the number he was projected as the number one pick If you could have came directly out of high school, R.J. Barrett would have been be, the first pick in the draft. He would be going to 
your team. I <laughs> yeah, guess. Yeah. If you couldn't see Zion play college, well, who had the number one overall pick last year? Well, well, yeah. If you wanted to do it that way, right? Yeah. Because he came straight out of high, the yeah. Suns. The Suns. So, yeah. So it might okay, have been him over son. DeAndre. Okay, there, there you go. That, that's exactly right. But why Coach K kept deferring to an RJ who is a ball stopper? He's like a Carmelo with no clutch gene because he missed big shot after shot down the stretch against Gonzaga. He missed five straight big shots. Yeah. Okay. I don't see the intangibles in RJ. I get it. He's a 6'8 slasher and he's got lots of skill. He but can man, create I, his own shot and your yeah. guy can't. Okay. I don't know about that. I give you RJ the ball at the top of the key or at the, at the half court and he can go make a shot. Okay. Your guy need the ball on the block. Yeah. My guy can do things for the rest of the team that are off the charts. R.J. Barrett is ball stopper. You give it to him, and then everybody else has to watch. He's got some James Harden in him. If Magic right? or LeBron? Yeah. Is that what he's going to be? Who? Zion. I just told you you can't compare him to those guys. What, what the hype? All this hype? You're talking about him you, like you mean, he is? You mean in the impact? Well, yeah. His game doesn't compare. Yes, in the yeah, impact, the way they hyped him, the yeah, way they got him hyped. There. You remember what Steve Kerr said the day after he watched that opening game against Kentucky? He just watched one game on TV. And I'm, I'm going to paraphrase the quote, but it's like, I thought LeBron was the last one we were going to see did. like that, and that this kid's got next, they right? Did. I'm being completely yes. impartial, yes, but sure. I totally agree with Skip. Thank you. Yeah. Completely 100%. impartial because she does not cover totally the Pelicans. Yeah. 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 Don't have my Pelican jewelry okay. on yeah. or okay. anything. All right. Draft Jen Hale, 504. Yeah. <laughs> Up next, guys, okay. will Kevin Durant <laughs> return to the Warriors instead of heading east? Chris Broussard <laughs> joins us to answer that question. Up next.